Hello and um, welcome to uh, this week's episode of The House Rules. I'm Stephen Doughty. Uh, I'm Stella Creasy. I was here in Parliament on Wednesday last week and obviously it was uh, a tragic and shocking day uh, for all of us who work here um, and in and around Westminster. Um, obviously our thoughts first and foremost are with all of those who lost their lives and were critically injured in the events on Westminster Bridge outside Parliament and of course at the gates of Parliament, uh, in particularly PC Keith Palmer um, who lost his life uh, trying to defend all of us in Parliament, not just uh, MPs but other members of staff, uh, his colleagues and of course uh, the many many visitors who were in Parliament that day for things like Prime Minister's Questions. Um, I've had a school visiting here today, mm -hmm. um, I've been taken around Parliament through Westminster Hall as I would have done on any ordinary Monday. Um, our debates have gone on, our democracy has gone on, and I think that sends the most powerful signal to all of those who would attempt to threaten our way of life. Yes, the Prime Minister has indicated that she's going to trigger Article 50, which is the process by which we formally leave the European Union. So last week I was with a delegation of MPs talking to German MPs and German negotiators about how they view that process and what will happen. It's very sobering to realise that something we've been discussing here in the British Parliament is also on the minds of nations across Europe, but also quite what they think the deal should be and the disparity between some of the things that our government has been saying that they think they can achieve and some of the things that those who they'll be negotiating with think are acceptable parts of a deal. And we also saw uh, last week uh, the SNP raising the spectre again of uh, another uh, referendum, this time again on Scottish independence for a second time. Now I'm very, very clear this is not the time for mm -hmm. another uh, independence referendum and it seems to me perverse that as the Prime Minister is trying to uh, rip us away from the, uh, the, the market, the single market in Europe, that the SNP mm -hmm. want to break up the UK single market, that seems complete madness to me. And the Prime Minister triggers Article 50 on Wednesday. That's going to be the formal process about that technical deal, the terms of our exit from uh, Europe. But it won't actually be about the conversation about what the future of Europe could be and what the opportunities are that we may miss out on because we're no longer part of it. And that was as much a part of our conversations with the German uh, representatives as it was about what the details might be. The Prime Minister has tried to suggest a number of times that everything will just carry on as before. Mm. But the reality is, is that as with any piece of legislation going through this place, people can seek to change it and seek to open up new debates and new doors. And I'm worried at the moment, and I know this was shared by a number of colleagues I spoke mm. to at the weekend, that there will be attempts by those particularly on the, uh, the right wing of the Conservative Party, to attempt to open up um, all sorts of issues that we thought have been settled for a long time. Mm -hmm. Things around, for example, labour rights, um, environmental rights and so on. So some very uncertain times ahead. But um, I've actually been in a debate this afternoon about badges. And the government uh, in England have decided to go ahead with this cull, which I think has been an inhumane, yeah. uh, draconian measure. In Wales, we've actually taken a very, very different approach. Yeah. Um, now, the, 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 the issue is, is that actually in Wales, it's been more successful <laughs> not doing a cull of badges than in England, where they have gone ahead with a cull of badges. So it seems to me to be clear evidence here that this is the wrong policy. <laughs> A lot of us are very, very concerned about the conduct of the Saudi Arabian government, think this government isn't doing anywhere near enough to hold them to account and indeed hold ourselves to account for any role that we might play in that process. As well as the issues with the Saudi Arabian government and the British government selling arms there, which I think is highly questionable and mm. have spoken about um, publicly and in the House of Commons on a number of occasions, there's also a, a terrible risk of famine in both Yemen and in East Africa at the moment. People yeah. literally uh, starving to death. I encourage anybody um, who wants to donate to go to yeah. the DC website, dc.org.uk, and you can also uh, text ASSIST to 70 triple zero uh, to make a donation and support those who um, have so little in this world. So. I guess our message this week and our call to action is look, we know that triggering Article 50 feels like going over a cliff almost for this country, but it's really important that we don't let it take over absolutely everything that we do. And where there are situations, whether it's in Yemen, whether it's in our own country where we can make progress, don't let this government tell you that Brexit is going to stop them doing things. Ever in Westminster. Uh, you can hear the bell. You can hear the bell going. Um, it's time for us to go off to vote. So um, if you're enjoying the, um, the House Rules, um, and you want to ask us questions, um, please do uh, share this video if you're on yeah. Facebook, uh, like it, um, subscribe if you're watching this on, on YouTube, and of course do get in contact with us um, if you've got any questions or things you'd like to cover in future episodes. Brilliant, and thank you for watching. Thank you.